Hello, I'm Katie. Welcome to the Planner Channel. If you are watching live, make sure to hit the thumbs up on your way in. Leave a comment in the chat so I can say hello. Um, I just wanted to hop on live today to because I miss you guys and I just wanted to do this project with you instead of by myself. So I what this is what I've done. If you have any old or extra planners or extra stickers, extra stickers, yes, extra stickers, but this is a great project to do with outdated planners that you have. And what I'm going to do is build an inspiration planner with some extra and um, outdated planners that I will then decorate as an inspiration planner. So I'll have somewhere to go to flip through, look for ideas for decorating. And then the second piece, uh, we'll see how this all is going to work out. The second piece, I think I'm gonna go ahead and plan in those planners, not for me personally, but more to um, try out some things and to be able to do some more tutorials with some trying out some different things like student planners. If you have a student planner, how do you use it? So those kind of things I think will be really fun to do in this inspiration planner. So again, hit the thumbs up on the way in, leave a comment, and I'm gonna go ahead and flip around the camera so that we can get started. Okay, let me just zoom in a little bit. And let's see who is in the chat so I can say hello. Okay. Hey, Nikki. Let me grab my glasses. Hey, MP. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Stephanie Lynn. How are y'all doing tonight? Hey, Lizette. Hey, Merwin. Are we good? How good are you? Hey, Ali. Hey, Diana. Hey, Crystal. Hey, Irma. So I'm going to ask you all, I don't know that you'll be prepared to join me to build one of your own, but if you have an old planner that is outdated and you haven't used it and you don't plan to redate it for a future planner, go grab it right now and build one with me. So, and let me explain, well, I'll show you in just a minute. I just, so I had some pink discs that I just like pink. So my inspiration planner is gonna have pink discs. I grabbed an extra cover from some happy notes. This I will decorate with Swarovski crystals, not today, but someday. <laughs> so that'll be decorated too. Hi, Pat. I know the wrong red girls and they're so cute with crystals on them too. I don't have my other one handy, do I? I don't know, all my stuff is, is moved around. I cannot get this box open. All right, we're gonna have to rip it. I don't know why I think I'm gonna keep the box. I guess I'm not. Anyway, we have some discs. There they are. This has 11, right? Yeah, so we only need nine. We'll put two back for now. Oh, great, Ali. Yeah, go grab your, yeah, extra stickers too. So, and I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot use my stickers in this inspiration planner because what if I need them? And then I realized that's insane. I have so many stickers, I could never use them all. And I'm, I, would, I would be so much happier to have them in the inspiration planner to flip through and look at and give me ideas and to share with you all. So. Yes, what good are they doing in the sticker books, right? Older ladies? <laughs> yeah, Janet, well, this can be us when we were younger. <laughs> All right, so this is how I started this little project. And let me tell you, it, it took me like a week to figure out, to pull out. So I had a bunch of different 
extra planners, old planners, that kind of stuff. And so I wanted to build like a whole year. So this is gonna be January through December of just random planners. And here's my list. So I'll have two months of a dashboard planner. Actually, I took out paint splash. That's also, I did two months of super mom because I'm still using paint splash and I'm, I wanna do something else. Anyway, um, a month of line vertical, two months of the monthly plan, of two different monthly planners, an hourly month, two color block student planners so that we can you know, explore those, two months of horizontal planner, and then, oh, did I use vertical planner, babe? I took out Teresa Collins. I don't even remember what I put there because I wanted to save that in case I want it for my main planner. So that's where I figured out which months to pull to make this. But if you have just a single one that's all the same, it doesn't matter. It's just to uh, use it for inspiration. Hey, Tamika. Hey, Stephanie. I'm good. Hey, Nikki. Oh, hey, Nikki. Hey, Leslie. Hey, Sonia. You made it to a live. Yeah, so I, this was the horizontal um, pastel dreams and I just like, so I kind of flipped through and picked out which ones I liked the month. So I liked this January because it says, hello, new year. Let me just flip through what I chose and then we'll kind of put it together. And then we'll talk about this list. I also already decided how I'm gonna decorate the whole thing. So I wanna write those out with you. Um, I got sticky notes and then that way, when we sit down to decorate, I won't have to come up with an idea. We'll already have ideas. Um, so that's what the whole point of the Inspiration Planner. So this one is the Unicorn. Did any of you get the Unicorn Line Vertical Planner last year when it came out? I liked the February month because it has the unicorn on it. Hey, Natasha. And then March is from Supermom. I had an, an extra old Supermom. I actually never used Supermom. So this will be my first time using it. So I had an, an old Supermom planner. So I pulled March from Supermom because I like that coffee mom fuel. I pulled April from the floral because I thought April would be a good um, month to do florals, obviously. Springtime. And I liked this one because pink. Then May, let's see which one I picked for May. Oh, May is Vintage Botanicals. You know what, I wonder if I have, I still have to go grab all the pages. I had taken out the, um, the checklist pages because I was using this for budget um, at the beginning when this one started. Anyway, so I need to grab those from wherever those are. But I love this pattern with the gold stripes for May. June is back to Supermom, so that gives us two dashboard months for this plan, this planner. July will be, um, what is this, Planner Babe. So that's, okay, that was on the list. Yeah, Planner Babe, a regular vertical. August is a student planner, so it has a color block layout like this. September is another student planner, and it is, I didn't really like the green, but I wanted to use a different one. Just, and I like this cover the divider. So we'll see. I could change things up by the time September rolls around. Um, October. So I liked this black October from Stargazer and that's another monthly. And oh, I can't wait to try like try out some different ways to use the monthly planner. That'll be fun. November. This is another horizontal, the Pastel Dreams horizontal. So here's another month of that. And that's just pretty too. Love that. Um, oh, I did two months of Planner Babe, I guess. So here's December back to Planner Babe. And so we're going to have to cover those up because I always like to do holiday themes during December. And this rainbow stripe is not going to work with my holiday themes. So I guess we will be putting washi tape on that for that month. All right. So there's my, yeah, that vintage botanical is pretty. There's my random planners for this inspiration planner. And then we'll write these up, write up each week and then kind of figure out which week, which one, which week will be decorated. I don't know. We'll see how each week will be decorated. 
So let's chat a little bit. How are you all doing? Is anyone um, like just seeing what's going on out there? As far as planner in the planner world, I see some people aren't planning at all because they're staying home. They, they're not in essential services, so they're not working or you're working from home. Are you bored? Are you still using your planner? Are you using your planner in a different way than you used to? How's it going out there? Hey, Kathleen. Ooh, online teaching, Natasha. So you're doing like lesson plans. Is it for um, school age students? You're going start, oh, otherwise you're start crazy. Oh, you're using your planner a lot, Em? Kindergarten. How are you teaching kindergartners online? How are they doing with that? Are they, do you think they're doing better than the teachers that maybe aren't used to it? I mean, some teachers already teach online, but. Or how do you even get kindergartners to pay attention? You have 20 planners, Irma. <laughs> how many are you using now and how many are like extra planners or ones you didn't use? More time on your planner, Janet. More time decorating or tracking things. How are you using it? Use it still using my planner, started using on the go as a journal. Yes, journaling is really good. Finally have time to work on it. Okay, good. Hi, Evelyn. You're only using one or <laughs> That's okay. Distance learning. Stephanie, you're not losing, using yours as much. Was that because you were tracking things like going places and doing things before? Maybe it's time to track something different. You send out videos and digital assignments. Very few of the kids actually do it. <laughs> do they watch it though, you think? The sales are my, oh, <laughs> did you get some really good deals? I've been, I've been really good. I haven't, I haven't ordered, ordered anything, nothing, <laughs> but I know I'm going to crack at some point. Using my planner to track things I've done, online shopping. Yeah, just things you're doing because it'll be interesting to go back later and see what you did with your time. Hi, Robin. Yeah, it is a good time, Evelyn, to develop good habits. Natasha. Natasha. What do you say? Oh, you hope they're watching. <laughs> oh, you're in school too? Fifth grade. She does online school and is stressed out. Aw. Is she stressed out because she's not used to doing online school or another reason? Still using your planner, Sonia. Food and chores, you're a chef. Oh, okay. So are you making sh good yummy chef things at home or do you like not cook at all when you're home? Memory planning. Yeah, this is a good time to do memory planning if you have the time. Pat, what kind of printer do you use for your pictures? I have one of the, what, I have this one and I love it. The um, Sprocket. It's so cool. I love that. Trying to read comments. Oh, your oldest is a senior, Stephanie. Nikki, you're using your hourly a lot. 
and a oh, horizontal for Bible study. Yeah, that's good. Wow, Stephanie, how is, is she going to be able to graduate? How are they going to do that with, or do you not even know yet with your senior? Big monthly planner, but not decorating it because you're tracking patients. Oh yeah, Leslie. Not decorating. That's okay. You can use it functional. Functionally. Oh, you have to shred because of HIPAA. <gasps> Yes, that's right. Oh, well, that's not, that's not fun. <laughs> well, at least you can enjoy, enjoy while you're using it. Ooh, you're making new recipes and building a recipe book. That is awesome, Sonia. I have one too, but it doesn't have any recipes in it yet. I will share my pecan pie recipe at some point, maybe this fall. <laughs> Yeah, they're not used to it, Stephanie. I know, um, you know, some of the kids that already work, do a lot of school on computers or on laptops, um, they're used to it, so it's not a big deal for them. But the kids that have to switch both to learning on a computer and at home, that's a, that's a big change for them to get used to. <sighs> I, uh, HP printer. Oh, you use that app. Yeah, I've seen that. I think it was that one, collageable. Yeah, I don't know. And and you like that, Pat? Do you print on just regular paper? Or do you print on photo paper? Okay. So now that we have this put together, this is how I normally do. I haven't done it yet this year, and I had it on my goal list the first week of the year for my other planner that I use every day. Well, my, my, all my planners, cause it's a Franken planner, but we're going to do it for this inspiration planner. So here's what I normally do. I will figure out which kind of decorations I want to do for the month or the year. Last time I did the whole year, it was really fun. And it helped me so much because whenever I had time to sit down, I'm trying to find a pen that I like, what color do we want? Like purple? Let's go with purple. Um, so like whenever you sit down and it's time to decorate, you don't have to look at all the stickers and try to figure out what to do. It's already, you already have a start. And if it says vacation floats and you don't like that, do something else. But it, it'll get you started. So let's see, we might have to move some things around. Obviously the first week will be a new year theme. So this is what we're gonna do new year and then if we get some ideas like a certain color or s new stickers or something like that maybe there will be a new be happy box or something we'll want to use i'm not sure if we're, i'm going to jump around in the inspiration planner or if i'm going to continue like start with april now i don't know we'll see so new year and then we might have to s flip around a little bit Let's go down, oh, let's check, let's check off as we go. So I know I already did it. Let's go down here to April. So we're gonna do a spring sticker book, the actual spring sticker book. Because I, I flipped through there the other day and there's a ton of stickers I didn't, I still didn't use yet. So let's say that might be spring sticker book and then some spring florals, and that can be anything, just whichever florals I feel like from whichever book. Oh, they turn out really good. Oh, wait. Oh, the photos on photo paper, yeah. Oh, your school might open up May 4th. Oh yeah, school here is supposed to open May 1st, but I don't know if it's gonna happen. Hey, Blue Bonnet. Yeah, the flare pens. They're basically markers, um, but I, they're, I just like them. Spring book and detailed florals to make, a, to make an April showers, bring May flowers. Oh, that's a good idea. It finally just started raining here today. It hasn't rained in forever. Hey, Marlene. 
Okay, so we did spring, spring. Obviously, we're gonna need a Valentine spread. I like to do um, the holidays, holiday spreads. I don't know, it's just fun. And the first thing on my uh, shopping list, this is Valentine's week, right? First thing on my shopping list is the, the giant seasonal sticker book. I didn't get that and I want it. Valentine's Day, let's say day. That's my little scribble scrabble. I haven't been working on my hand lettering, <laughs> practicing. Oh, there's clothes for the rest of the year. Marlene. Valentine's. St. Patrick, we know when that is. March. St. Patrick. So has anyone ever, oh, that's your birthday, Nikki? Well, happy Valentine's, baby. St. Patrick's Day decorations. Oh, oh, okay. St. Patrick, 17th, right? March. So that'll be this week. What else? Back to school. We'll do a. There's a lot. I have so many of the teacher stickers and student stickers, and I haven't I haven't used those very much. And I'm gonna try not to buy all the new ones because I just don't I just don't need those. But I like them. So back to school um, or a teacher theme. I'm gonna write it on there because there are some cute like school stickers like pencils and rulers and stuff. Back to school teacher. So this will be, we're gonna go with the fall back to school. When does school start this year? I know it starts different in different places. It's gonna be one of these weeks, probably. I'm gonna guess this week we'll be back to school. Maybe that week, I'm not sure. We're gonna guess this week. Back to school, 4th of July, we know when that is. So has anyone done this before? Or am I the only one? <laughs> has anyone already decorated their planner through the whole, to the end of the year? What am, what am I writing on here? July 4th. That'll be our Independence Day. Summer, summer sticker. Ooh, I can't wait. I love the, palm leaves theme, summer palm leaves. Maybe that one, summer sticker book, sticker book. How can I use the teacher sticker book in a spread? Well, there's a bunch of teacher sticker books and they all have decorative stickers in them too. So I'm just gonna put these, let's see, summer sticker book. And then there's another, oh, vacation. Let's put that there too. Vacation, pool floats. I love those, they're super cute. Do this in June too. Vacation, pool floats. Then we have like, I have a bunch of theme ones that can go where, anywhere. Um, oh, I really like the girls in the dashboard planner. So I, I wanna use those then. Maybe in both of the dashboards. Yeah, probably. Your daughter does that, Stephanie? Has she already done this whole year? Ali, you did your months through June. Natasha, you decorated all of your April. I 
Yeah. I know. We left for spring break too and never went back. It's so crazy. All right. Now, let's see. I know we'll do some pastel because a couple of these planners are pastel. Oh, I can't wait to do a lemon theme. Maybe that'll be in July because this is... I think the yellow will look good in um, in this one. So let's put lemons here. Lemons. Cactus, flamingo. Oh, flamingos is another summer one. Flamingos. I don't know if it has an E. I don't think it has an E. Flamingos. Maybe, okay, so 4th of July, lemons, maybe flamingos. Oh, you know another one that's good for summer? Let's do this, flamingos or, or no, I'm going to put that on 4th of July, is watermelon. There's some really cute watermelon stickers. Haven't used them. All right, what did I just do? Flamingos. There's cactus, rainbow. Okay, well, we have to do rainbow one of these weeks. So we already use all of these. Let's do rainbow. Rainbow um, planner babe, too. We can do rainbow and planner babe in here. Okay. Rainbow each day. And what I mean by rainbow each day is like we'll do each day will be a different color. And then there's also rainbow because there's rainbow stickers that have rainbow stripes and actual rainbows on them. So there's two different kind of rainbows. This will be rainbow each day. Rainbow each day. And then let me see if I put planner babe in here somewhere. Planner babe, I did. So let's see if we use super mom, goal getter, glam girl, stargazer, homebody, planner babe, mist maker, and isn't there another one? Trendsetter, that's eight. So that's two whole months that we can do the um, in the Supermom planner. So that'll be, that's what we'll do in, in those. Okay, let's go back to this page. All right. Um, rainbow the whole week, rainbows. So maybe we won't use planner babe in planner babe. We don't have to. I think if this one's good for rainbow. All right, we're gonna do two rainbow weeks then. Maybe we'll move them around a little bit. Rainbow, rainbows, or actual rainbows. Okay. Mm, I can't wait to do a black and white theme. <sighs> so here's all. Okay, these are. This is a student planner. Let's use. Oh, I like the cactus. Let's put cactus in here, and that's from the. Um, actually, we might move those around too because the student and teacher, the student sticker books have cute, um, what are they called? Motifs. So squad girls too, those are cute. All right, let's go ahead and do our trendsetter. All right, these will be in Where's Trendsetter? So, tell me about has anyone had any weird tell me about your adventures during this whole crazy stay-at-homeness. Anyone anything? <laughs> Something interesting? All right, trendsetter. No, we have to start with Supermom. 
that has to be the first one. So we'll put Supermom first. Oh, we have a St. Patrick's Day week too. Hmm. That might have to be St. Patrick's Day week and maybe that will also be our homebody week because it's green. And homebody. And then that's gonna be super mom here. It's pretty boring, blue bonnet. <laughs> oh my gosh, Natasha, you had to move? Wow. How did that go? <laughs> Super mom. Super mom. Got homebody and St. Patrick's. Trendsetter is on the other page. Oh, glam girl. OG Glam Girl, my favorite. Oh, you have a nice new place now. That's good. Do you have like a, a place to do planning and crafting or a spot? I know, Nikki, we've been binge watching Netflix too. <laughs> What's your favorite show that you've discovered on Netflix? Glam Girl. Maybe we'll do, let's see. Oh, that's it for March. All right, where's the other one? Where did I put that? June? Oh my gosh, didn't I just put a bunch of other stuff in here? I totally did. So maybe we'll put the girls on something else then. We can do that. I did this one. We haven't gotten into our fall months yet. Let's do that. Didn't I write down fall somewhere? Well, we'll definitely do some kind of Halloween theme. It might be on this monthly, because this will be Stargazer, I think, in here. At least part of it will. Stargazer. I know, Stephanie, we can't go to the stores. And Michael's hasn't had that good of sales. Has anyone, like, where's your best sales that you found? Ooh, you have, there's a built-in desk. That's awesome for planning. All right. This, I think, should be, this will be a fun Halloween. Let's make this Halloween. Stargazer. And then we'll decorate these, too, somehow. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet. But they're going to be something. All right, November. This is going to be a pastel November. It's going to be, I don't know how I'm going to do that. Um, ooh, okay. Well, let's start with the holiday week. When is Thanksgiving this coming year? Oh, this year. Yeah, this is a 2020 planner. Is it on the 26th? Does it say on here? I guess it would, right? 26th, yeah. So this is, this will be our Thanksgiving week. It'll be, I don't know, how, oh, maybe yeah, that's going to be interesting. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. Thanksgiving week. Did I write that? I think I wrote it over here. Game of Thrones. <laughs> All right. We did, okay, Thanksgiving. We need to do fall. Around here in Florida, fall doesn't start for a while. <laughs> so. This will be a fall. This, will, this can be the fall sticker book. Fall sticker book. You've been doing a lot of journaling, Marlene? 
do you use a horizontal planner or do you journal like in happy notes? What do you use for journaling? I'll stick a book and then this week can be just fall in general. Check. Did we put Halloween? Oh yeah, we did it on a monthly. All right, now December. I love to do a holiday theme every month, every month, every week in December in a different color. I did that the last couple of years. It's so much fun. Love that. So I'll definitely do that again in, in the inspiration planner and in my regular planner. So I usually do something like a green week. And did I write those all out or did I, what did I do? I did. Green, blue, pink, and then a winter theme. Wait, winter theme? Green, blue, pink, maybe more. Let's see how many weeks are in this one. Green week, pink week. Usually I do this week pink, green, a uh, red, red week, pink week, um, let's see, where's Christmas here? Maybe multicolor. Christmas. And then let's see how many days are in this next one. So this week we will probably be, I mean, I could decorate this one. I don't know, maybe I will. So it'll probably some, be something like, well, we do, this would be a happy new year too. It'd be, there'd be two happy new years. <laughs> I'll put question mark. All right, let's start back over. Did we put anything in here? That's another new year. We're gonna do like a winter, I really like a blue slash winter, like snowflakes. Those are really pretty. Which pens? Okay, here's my favorite pens. This is the Papermate Flare Medium Point. And then I really like these Papermate Inkjoy Gels. And they come in um, fine, fine point and, let me see if I have both in here. No, these are both medium, 0.7s. They come in a 0.5 and a 0.7. I prefer the clicky ones just so that I don't lose the lids. But I like both and I have both here. And I love the colors. Um, I have more pens though. I just got these recently. These are Tombow Twin Tones. They have two different ends, like a little tiny end. And these are markers too, and then a marker end. Um, the Tombow Brush Pens. I like the Kelly Creates Pens. I do have a pen video that I did a while ago, but I'll link it when I uh, save this video. Ooh, what's everyone's favorite sticker book? Good question, Stephanie. I know mine. My favorite sticker book is the original Glam Girl. Love that one. It's my favorite. We did a Christmas. Let's see. So January, and this is pastel. So let's do a pastel week. And, and let's do, no, go back. Horizontal um, sticker book. Horizontal sticker book. And there are, there are several. Um, it has like, it's like a um, color story, color story book. It has several themes in it.
Wild style. Yes, I haven't even used it yet. I'm, I'm hoarding that one until I start the planner in July or whenever it starts. You're to shine goals. You're to shine goals. Is that the new you're to shine one? Do you mean this one? For you're to shine? Bookish and wild styled. All right, where are we? Horizontal sticker book. It could be any of the themes from that, whatever I feel like. That one will be a pastel. Um, black and white, I don't think I'll like that, or brights in this one. Squad girls. The squad girls have colors like this. They would probably look cute in this. Let's do it with the squad girls. And I heard there's a new squad girls sticker book coming out. Has anyone seen it? Farmhouse, yeah, farmhouse. There's so many good sticker books. Our girls, we did Trendsetter. We did Christmas in red. Modern farmhouse is pretty, yes. Detailed florals. Uh, okay, what else? Which one is of these? Well, ooh, watercolor goals. I haven't even used that sticker book yet. Okay, we did all of our weeks in here. This one's pastel too, though. But you know what looks good in here is the new, new Glam Girl. That will look good in this one. Check. Um, let's see. There's Valentine's week. Watercolor, watercolor goals. That probably would look good in here. Watercolor goals. Okay. New teacher planners. I know they will, Natasha. They'll be, and they're coming out soon. I don't know how soon, but usually in May, is it May? Round about May, Happy Planner usually releases the, um, the back to school line. All right, we need another, what did I do? I did this one. Color story for essentials. Those are like seasonal. Oh, we did horizontal. Um, free spirit. Oh, free spirit might look good in here. Ooh, year to shine would look good. Farmhouse, that'd be fun. Oh, we have to use unicorn stickers. And mermaid. I did mermaid last time. Do we have any summer weeks left? I think we use them, most of them. Let's put mermaid in August if there's a spot. Cactus. Yeah, let's put it here. Mermaid. Tilly, you can't get any good stuff yet, huh? I know it'll be there. It'll get there eventually. It's just been, I know it's been slow. Pink week. Oh, yeah. I want to do a week that's all pink stickers. Oh, that'll be cool to do here. Pink week. Pink week. Marlene. You haven't bought anything and your store is slow. Yeah, I know. Well, once everything opens back up and it's safe to go shopping again, hopefully they'll have some new stuff for us so we can go get some new stickers. All right. Ooh, Vintage Botanicals is pretty, but that needs to go in the Vintage Botanical. We haven't put anything in there yet. This monthly we'll do with Vintage Botanicals. 
botanicals. Oh, you did a whole green week? I don't know if I've done that yet. I have to do that, that'll be fun. Because then you can use stickers from any sticker book that has that color. It'll be really fun. Big planners are classic. I like the classic. I, um, the big I like for memory keeping because your pictures fit good in there and there's space to like write notes. Um, but I, ha I just haven't had time to, to add memory keeping. <laughs> I can barely keep up with what we're doing already. Um, you can order on Joann's. What was she ordering? Oh, she didn't have any new stuff. I do like the big, something I like about the big planners is that a regular sheet of paper will fit in them. You can just punch it in. I do like that. What else should we put in vintage botanicals? What looks good with that? It's floral. What else has some floral stickers? Hmm. 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 I don't know. Farmhouse. Yeah, farmhouse. I don't know if you were answering me, but yes, farmhouse. I don't know. Oh, yeah, here's farmhouse. Something else. That'll look good. You're right. We'll do something farmhouse in there. And I've got to get my other pages. Okay. Neon lights. That's kind of a summer sticker book. I think we did like all of our summer weeks. No, we didn't. All right, then. Sold. June. Neon lights. Is that the one I'm thinking? No, I was thinking of the, the tropical one. Pastel Tropics. Neon lights. Did I put that in here? I don't know if I did. We'll use it in the other planner. <laughs> I know, Natasha, I don't like crowds either. So it's not that bad. <laughs> Um, okay, I think September. I don't think we put anything in there because I don't like this. I don't like green. It's not my favorite. Um, but I'm sure some of these will look really good with green. Ooh, we still have Miss Maker. Color Story 4 Essentials. Free Spirit. No, free, I don't know if Free Spirit looks good with green. Color Story. Oh, yeah, the original books. Color Story. Any of the color stories, really. Um, 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 um. I'm trying to think of what looks good with this green background. Simply lovely. I don't think that really has a green in it either. Hmm. Not sure for this one. Yeah, Tilly, I've tried dating. I dated one, I've dated a couple of planners. It's, I didn't like it. <laughs> I'm I, it. Look, it's already perfect. You can just buy it that way. <laughs> glitter paint, glitter paint. I haven't even tried glitter paint yet. Maybe that's what we'll use this coming week for Plan With Me. All right, let's go with color story because I can't remember right now and I'm sure S-T-O-R-Y. One of the color stories, um, I'm gonna put OG because what I mean is there's like five or six of them. So one of those will have something green. Let's do like two weeks of color story. Let's do these two, color story. Oh, I really like those Year to Shine stickers. All right, we still have a couple more weeks, I think, of this green planner. And it's a student planner. Hmm, planner babe, Miss Maker. I don't know if Miss Maker has green. We could use color story. We could just do this like a bunch of color stories. Let's do it, color story for essentials. And that's that first section with all those um, like hand drawn. Oh, glitter paint has green stickers. I'm gonna use that sooner than this than in this one. I'll use it in my regular planner. So yeah, we'll probably use that this week, this weekend. All right, what else? 
What else looks good from this list? Simply lovely. Let me just go grab it. Where, oh, I moved it. I organized everything. So, oh, actually, I can find it. Does this have green? It does have this color. Check it out. Who knew? Is it the same? Is it close enough? What do you guys think? Close enough? I think so. Let's do a Simply Lovely week. Those are pretty. Okay. All right. Let's start over at the beginning because I didn't check everything off, so there must be some more. Oh, also the monthlies. What are we gonna put on the monthlies? I'm gonna decorate those too. So we have a new year week. That might be, oh, you know what? Looks good new year. This could be black and white. Is that gonna look good with the pastel though? This is a pastel planner. Do we want a black and white theme on it? No, I don't think so. I like to do like a whole black and white on black and white. Um, anyway, it'll be New Year something. Blue, winter, we got that. Horizontal sticker book. And there's like a bunch of choices in there. Definitely some pastels and squad girls, okay? Then we have the new Glam Girl stickers. Valentine's Day theme, watercolor goals, unicorn stickers. Then we've got a dashboard. This will be a super mom layout. Oh yeah, we could use washi, but I'm just gonna use, I'll use a different one. <laughs> we'll just put it in a black and white planner. Maybe because like the um, planner I'm using now, the Teresa Collins, it's already mostly black and white. So black and white theme will look really good in that. Black and silver, yeah, that'd be really pretty too. All right, that's St. Patrick's and Homebody. This will be Trendsetter, Original Glam Girl. Okay, April, Flowers, sp something from the spring sticker book, some kind of spring florals. They could be from any sticker book. Oh, here's an extra. Okay, so this week can be Oh, we already got this one. I'm trying to think of something that has this pink in it. Oh, we already got this one. We already did a Christmas. All right, we got almost everything. We just have a few of the girls left. Like Goal Getter is black and white mostly. Planner Babe is bright. Miss Maker is bright colors. Maybe we could do like a Miss Maker week. Miss, Miss Maker has pink. Yeah, Miss Maker this week. You know, it doesn't make sense to not use Planner Babe in the Planner Babe planner. So let's go find that one. Where did I put it? July, we're gonna have to switch one of these. July 4th, Watermelon. Seasonal. Lemons. I'm going to do a lemon theme in my other planner, though, so maybe this one won't be lemons. You know what? I think I might switch it. Flamingos. Lemons, flamingos. Yeah. This one's going to be, I'm going to put this in my, um, in the Teresa Collins, probably, and it's going to be easy peasy. There's a sticker somewhere. I have to find it. Lemon squeezy, and that's going to be the theme for the week. So we'll make this one planner babe. Does anyone know where that easy peasy lemon squeezy sticker is? Have you seen it? Who's seen that? All right, flamingos. There's enough flamingo stickers out there to do that. Um, you know what though? Where is the one with the stripes? April? Do we have an extra week in here? I don't think we do. This one would look, oh, actually we do. What did I do? I skipped, I did. Let's switch these because I wanna put flamingos. Oh man, I'm all over the place now. Planner babe. 
I want to put flamingos here because that's pink. That'll look really good. All right, let me go back. Where were we? We were here, right? Yeah, colorful boxes too. I'll use one of those on, on those color, um, color, color. Oh, colorful boxes. Hold on. Which one is that? Let me go look. Is that the one? Hold on. I think that's this one. Is this the second one or the fourth one? I can't remember right now. It's not this one, is it? The lemon quote is in colorful boxes too? In colorful boxes. Really? I didn't know it had any quotes in it. I can't find it right now. I'll have to look. Wow, okay. I might need to write, let me write that down. Well, we have it on the video. <laughs> Clear quotes. I'll have to go, I'll have to look for it. <laughs> All right, so we have another pink week here in this floral planner. We got planner babe. Free Spirit doesn't have bright pink. Year to shine. Those don't have bright bright pink. Happy Hostess does though. This could be Happy Hostess. Happy, I think it does. Hostess. All right. We're almost done. We're almost done. So there's the monthly. We'll do Adventures Botanicals. We'll do a farmhouse and something else probably when I get the other pages. Oh, we got this one. Oops. So I still have Goal Getter. Goal Getter is black and white. Let's put her in October. Or not black and white, but black and gold. Where's October? Colorful boxes 924. All right, I'm gonna write that here. Colorful boxes. 924 for easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> I like fun florals, yeah. They ha I think I got it at Hobby Lobby. All right, we'll do a Halloween stargazer and then maybe this will be our um, goal getter. So I think it'll look good. Because Goal Getter has this color too, like that light teal. And there's an extra, whatever we're gonna do with those to-do lists. Ooh, and notes pages. Yeah, so there might be some more stuff to decorate. Year to Shine, we still have Year to Shine. Those will look good in this planner. Let's put them here. Year to Shine. Those are really pretty. That quote is in super cute, awesome, totally amazing sticker. Oh, the giant book. Yeah, I don't have that one. All right, fall, fall sticker book, Thanksgiving. And then we've got our holiday and then our new year. So we got year to shine. Did we get everything? Oh, I think we did it, guys. Oh, we didn't do this. We didn't do brights or black and white, but I think I'm going to do this in Teresa Collins soon because I just feel like doing a black and white theme and then brights. I guess we just didn't find a place for brights. A lot of these planners are um, pastel colors. Okay, so that's a really good start on the inspiration planner. I'm going to, well, I have a couple of requests for videos to do um, a dashboard layout plan with me and a horizontal. So we'll definitely be jumping into this planner soon to do those two, decorate, and then we'll also do an after the pen and we'll have some kind of theme for how we're gonna use the planner, like a journal or, I don't know, something else. Like I have, um, I still haven't done, oh, what's it called? I have. We didn't even put those in here. 
household. I have like the household sticker and all that stuff. I haven't done that yet, but like a household planner maybe. There's so many things you can do. All right, so thank you so much for joining me to build this inspiration planner and get kind of a good start on some decorative themes. There will definitely be a plan with me this coming weekend at some point and hopefully some more as soon as I get some time. Thank you so much. Leave a comment down below once it uploads. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And uh, let's see, what else? If you haven't checked out the Planner School, check out the Planner School. I'll have links in the description box. Um, also, recently I do have a new um, Amazon shop. Oh yeah, in the blog. So just a couple of things going on. I'll put everything in the description box if you want to check it out. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.